Welcome to another episode of How It Be with Danny G. Today we're going to look at some Pex Press. Lately on the page, there has been some talk about PEX Press. There's been talk about a lot of different PEX systems. Some people hate them, some people love them. It's all over the board. So I'm not here to convince you of any particular type of PEX, but I wanted to show you specifically a good way to transition from copper to PEX. Some of you will say you should never transition from copper to PEX. That's okay. That's your opinion, and you may be right. However, if you need to, I found a rather good way to do so. It's with the PEX Press system. So I have the Milwaukee M12 press tool, and so I'm able to use the regular press jaws, and I bought the PEX Press Pure Flow jaws by Viega and that really works well so I'm going to show you what that looks like um, and a little bit of real world application on a job I did today took a little bit of video I'm gonna put it all together here for you in a second so you know if it opens your eyes to something great if not that's fine too not looking for a whole bunch of debate on whether PEX is good or bad it is what it is so, but I just thought I'd show you guys uh, kind of one way to be able to use this in the real world. Enjoy. So this is the Milwaukee M12 press tool that I use. These are the jaws for the PEX press. These are my half inch and three quarter inch trays that I keep well stocked. This is the particular fitting that does a great job at transitions. Okay, we're gonna transition from three quarter PEX, which is coming across here. I had to move the line over there and that valve will control the PEX that comes up through here and then connects back. Of course, they had a shark bite connected to it and yeah, it's not gonna look so back up. So, I am going to make a new end here. with my handy dandy Milwaukee. Okay, so then what we'll do is we will prefab this piece because it's up in that tight area. There's one side of the um, copper. We'll go ahead and press this transition fitting. Okay, so now we got this piece. Now let's go up and continue. Okay, so now I've got the PEX jaws in. I have kind of prefabbed it. I removed the copper off so I could get the tool up in here. I'm gonna go ahead and crimp the PEX portion of it. Now I should be able to remove these, throw the copper one on, throw the copper jaws on and I'll crimp that. All right, so now I've got it put together. We have one last crimp to make. That's gonna be on this three quarter. Make sure we're pushed all the way on. Everything's at the angle of the dangle that we need. That's it. That is how you transition from copper to PEX with this transition fitting right here. It's a beautiful fitting.